Hi there, this is Larry Zorro. You know, many people are just dying to be gardening, but it's still cold out. And the ground is icy, and you can't plant anything in a block of ice, can you? I can. No, I don't mean to brag. I give God all the glory for my ideas. I give God the thanks for hay gardens without bales, the breakthrough method of hay pillar gardening. Now, I'm not. After just to have award-winning book, but I want to help people to grow in their harsh environments. And today, I'm going to show you a method that's not even in the book, but it combines with the teaching from the book, and you know they just go good together. Everything I'm going to teach now in my videos It'll be, it'll complement the book, Hay Gardens Without Bells. You know, it's great to grow in a hay bale if you have hay bales and if you know they haven't been treated with some insecticide or herbicide and you wonder the source of your bells. But if you got bells, continue making them in bells, growing your garden in bells. But as for me, I found a breakthrough method. I can do it without the machine or without the contraption that makes them. I can make, now I can grow just as good in my new system as I could growing in bells. They just, it just led up to the evolution of one system to another and now I have perfected everything. The thing I like that I show you in my book is how to refurbish a hay pillar. It's so easy to do. And, uh, well, now that would be the first step, is to get your, uh, go to the chapter of refurbishing your hay pillars and do what it says. You'll need great mulch. Mulch that also has been explained in my book about having seedless mulch, having perfected it, having mulch, they look like donuts, don't they? But having this mulch that it just won't harbor a bunch of weeds. I go through that in my book. I think it's near the first chapter. But you get it. You get it and you refurbish your hay pillar. Now you might want to take out some of the soil if it's frozen, if it's sunk, and just add some new stuff to it. Now this picture I'm showing right here is a refurbished one. It looks like a hole, doesn't it? I tell you how to make the hole in this new system of mine. I want to show you something else too. I used to use flues. Well, I still do. I would get a stainless flue, but for now, I got a couple of these, these mixing bowls that are made out of stainless. You can leave the thing outdoors and it won't rust much. But I make my biochar mulch out of it, and I explain that in my book. But you know, what is biochar? It's char like charcoal, but it's not. And uh, it's got many soil health benefits. Biochar is a stable solid that is rich in carbon and can endure in soil for thousands of years. It's something you should add. It's a kind of old technique, but it's been brought back and people are using it. You ought to make and you ought to put biochar when you renew your growing pillars. Here's a picture, and you see the biochar. Yeah, it's not perfect biochar. It may have some, you know, some hay. That's why I call it, you know, unbiochar hay. And but it's near enough. You could you could do it again in another burning and have more biochar. But this is fine. You like to have some hay mixed into your soil anyway. This is perfect for what we're doing, and I'm making. 
and I'm making some soil, and I'm mixing it together. I had this in my wheelbarrow. And I'm adding some hay, I'm adding the biochar, I'm adding some new soil, I'm mixing it up, and I'm putting it in. That hay pillar. Oh, it doesn't take long at all. There's no, there's no digging, only stirring the soil mixture. You could just put a bag of potting soil in there if you prefer. If you want to make your own soil, you don't have to. You can just dump a bag in there and fill it up. You can, these pillars are renewable. It takes you very little time to start each year to start her up. I could very well be planting a tomato plant. And there's a special way I treat the hay. You ought to look at these donuts. I tell you how to do it in the book. These are great donuts. <laughs> donuts of hay. Well, the thing is, you use a bucket. Now, for this small pillar, I would use just a standard white bucket, food gradable. It's not cracked. I have a lot of cracked buckets out there. I left the soil in. Soil expands, and it'll crack your buckets. Well, anyway, I had this. I couldn't find my other buckets. They're all prepared for gardening. I couldn't find them, but I had this big one. This big one will do the job. But I'm going to make a, a little one. Now, you never can get enough of these things. But I'm going to make a little one, a five-gallon bucket. And uh, I think I'll show you a video how to do that. But if you're good with the electronics or with wiring, you know, what, the ground is the stripe wire, and then you got the power wire, and go by the instructions. They're easy to put in, just a hole on the top of the bucket. And, uh, and then you get yourself an incandescent bulb, something that generates heat. A tiny five-gallon bucket would only take, what, a 60-watt bulb. A bigger one, I'd probably get a 75-watt bulb. And uh, when it's at nighttime, have it go on with a timer, and it'll just keep it warm. And then, when the sun comes out during the day, you don't really need it on. You can let it rest. And the sun will just heat it up like some kind of aquarium. It's, it'll just be like in a hot house. Well, that's about it. Just put an incandescent bulb in there. Something that's cheap you can get at like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, maybe even Walmart. I'm not too sure about them. But anyway, one that heats up. What did I say? 60 watts for a five gallon one. 75 watts for that big one. And uh, I'm gonna show you, this is the last, I'm gonna be growing lettuce and I grow them. This is not featured in the book, but the techniques are basically the same. But I'm gonna show you how to do one in a trash barrel. Grow your lettuce early. People will be amazed. I even had some neighbor driving by giving me a stare. This ain't the time to be gardening. Well, it is for me. I can garden early. And uh, that's the purpose of this video. You want to know the book? The book that Amazon sells? You really want to know? Hey, Gardens Without Bells. The Breakthrough Method of Pillar Gardening. And it's a real inexpensive book. I self-published it. I didn't go to a publisher so you could buy at a real high price a couple of six packs of, you know, <laughs> pay for the book. <laughs> or, or, like for me, maybe a couple of, maybe a couple of six packs of Pepsi. But you could be you could do both. You could be drinking your Pepsi, your Coca-Cola, and you could be watching your garden grow while everyone else is itching to get going, but they can't. It's too cold out. You'll be having your crops up before long, and people will drive by with amazement. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. How did he do that? How did he do that? 
$4.99 for the Kindle edition. Get it while you can. Don't waste your money on the other books. You know, you can buy book after book. I know a lot of you probably. I've tried other books, and it never seemed to work for me. We'll try this one. And it won't be a trial. It'll be a sure thing. You'll have happiness because you won't be bending down, gardening, hurting your back. You won't be doing knee bands. It'll be so easy for you. When you do this system, it'll be so easy. Just buy the book. If you don't like the book, you can immediately return it for a refund. Check it out. This is Larry Zorro, Happy Gardening. I can't wait to get out there. I'm going to have to make more of these, these bucket lights that really work. I've tried them out. It really, really works. See you later. Goodbye.